Who's that? Who's that? Nala? Who's that? Hey! Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, in, 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 in. It's a jungle, it's a jungle. All right, guys, you stay, be good. Welcome back to our channel. My name's Daffy. I'm Jared. And we are Irish, Irish World. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while. <laughs> if you've followed us this far, welcome to season two. Yep. So we've actually decided to go off on a road trip. We're on our way to Cabin. Yeah, we thought we'd kick it off in the old style. Um, like, you know, the start of our the start of our videos where we went off up to Cabin and had mm. some good fun. Yeah. yeah. And so we're hoping to replicate that but we've gone a long way from actually learning to fish and obviously this time around we know a little bit more about how to fish how to target certain fish and hopefully this time i've said fish quite a lot but we hope to actually get a fish yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the last time that we were up here we said we hope that we get a pike yeah because we haven't actually caught one yet no. and this time around i think that's going to change Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, I'd love to get a bike. Yeah. And um, the plan is, mm. we're gonna get a boat, mm. and we're gonna spend some time out on a boat again. Yeah, but this time it's not gonna be with Grace White Witch. Um, you've probably seen a few of her posts on Instagram. If not, there's a link down below. But uh, we just want to take this opportunity now that we're sat here in Enfield, just taking a minute before mm. we uh, carry on again. We just had some food, mm. uh, but we just want to take this opportunity to thank you guys. Yeah. Um, for sticking with us for the last year. Yeah, so anybody that's actually followed us up to this point and still watching our videos, thank you very much. Yeah, and um, I get a big thank you as well to the likes of Birdwatch Ireland and Outdoor oh, yeah. Adventure Store. Mm. You guys are awesome. Yeah, and also there's a massive thank you to a, a couple of other YouTubers as well. They're actually quite small channels, but like we yourselves. still, yeah, but we still like to give a shout out to them because they're, you know, worthwhile and they followed us and they've sub uh, subscribed to us. And obviously this is, you know, a community that we'd like to grow as well. So yeah, um, mm. we just want to take this opportunity to thank you guys uh, for sticking with us for the last year. Yeah. Uh, we've learned a lot about fishing and we've learned a lot about filming stuff as well. Yeah. Um, we've come a long way since our first uh, pilot episode. So yeah. obviously if you haven't seen that, there'll be a link and uh, the descriptions below. It'll be mentioned down there. Oh, yeah. if you watch to the end of the video, it will make sure to put it up there. Uh, just a couple of shout outs and thank yous to the guys that have stuck with us mm -hmm. the whole time. Um, or well, at least some of the time anyway. Yeah. Um, which is pretty good. Got a Shasta Valley Outdoorsman. Yeah. Great guy. He does a lot, of, well, it says it in his name. He does a lot of outdoorsy stuff. He has a lot of information there. Some do's and don'ts and some things that you won't necessarily talk about. But he he kind of highlights those and it's really good information so definitely check it out again description down below all the people that were mentioning they're all growing channels and would like to share the love and obviously throw off some good vibes mm. I guess. outdoor life with nick laws yeah nick laws so buddy. yeah this guy he does uh, quite a lot of similar stuff as uh shasta 
but definitely check him out as well. He does a lot of reviews on knives and some equipment that he uses. So very informative stuff. Definitely check him out. Yeah. We have the real Don. <laughs> hey, the real Don. If you like this guy's editing is always on point. He's amazing, amazing guy. Definitely check him out. Um, most of his videos are anything from five to 10 minutes long. Um, his recent stuff are actually going a little bit longer, but he does do a lot of reviews. Definitely check him out. Yeah. And the next guy is from AUS, or as I say, <laughs> Australia, mate. Australia. <laughs> Australia. Australia. <laughs> yeah, simple salty. <clears throat> yeah, simple up, salty. Buddy? Simple salty. Tight lines, bro. Uh, this guy, <laughs> uh, he's actually a small channel. Um, he vanished off the face of the planet there for a while. Yeah. But again, he is one of our featured people. He was there from the beginning yeah. when we started off our channel. And so we're hoping to see a lot more of him as well. Yeah, definitely. So do check him out and give him a thumbs up and like. Uh, this, that's the same with every all of these other channels as well. Definitely subscribe yeah. to them, like and share their videos. Yeah, and there's a couple of guys now from Ireland. Uh, yeah, we got to give a shout out to. Yeah, because so we have to represent. Big up to the homies, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> I'm home with the downies. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, first off, Power Metal Gamer. Yeah, Ty. <laughs> keep it up, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely keep it up. Um, he's got. Well, it says it on his name. He's a metalhead and he loves games. Check him he's out. Weird as <laughs> That's yeah. why I love you. <laughs> Check him out. Yeah, we got a uh, fish and a free dive in Ireland. Yeah, um, it actually says everything about their name. It does you... what it says on the tin. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a like a tin of paint. Ron Seal. That's the one. It's a Ron Seal joke. Yes. Yeah, check their <laughs> channel out because yeah, they have they have a lot of of diving and underwater stuff so definitely check him out sparing outdoors this guy he owns his own camping store he's building his own home at the moment so he's doing a couple of series where he's doing a build up build up of how he's actually doing and building his house so definitely check him out he does quite a lot of very, cool. uh, very useful information as well yeah so he does do quite a lot of hikes gives a lot of information there and some great spots around in belfast to go to so definitely check them out. Mm. Um, but that's pretty much it for our uh, shout outs and thank yous right mm -hmm. now. Just again, a big thank you to Outdoor Adventure Store. Yeah. Um, you guys are really, really cool. I went online and ordered a tent and a couple other things off them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they didn't have the tent in stock and it was going to take another couple of weeks to order in. So rather than waiting the couple of weeks and all of that, they gave me a much better tent yeah. at yeah. a really good discount. And they sent a lot of freebies and it pretty much arrived like two days later, which is incredible. Usually you're waiting at least a week yeah. to 10 days for anything, <laughs> even if it is coming from inside Ireland. Yeah, They're really good and they're partnered with the Scout Shop as well. And we've used that same tent over and over and over again. It's got us through thick and thin. Definitely worth it. And we'll make sure to put the description. And it goes up in below. minutes and takes down in minutes as well. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. Really good piece of gear. Birdwatch Ireland. Yeah. Um, you've probably seen some of our videos before, and we've done a little bit of a skit on it about Steven Siegel. Mm. He's bro. Yeah. He's no longer with us, but we found a dead seagull with tags on it, and Birdwatch Island were fantastic they validated us in so many different ways yeah. again birdwatch island thank you very much it'll be under descriptions below or even if you're just interested in the ornithology of ireland just birds basically yeah the ornithology of birds mm. of ireland <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it and um, we just wanted to say thanks to all you guys for sticking with us for the last year and um, being real patient with all our first crappy videos and yeah not knowing how to camera, <laughs> not knowing how to fish, and yeah. trying to do a camera fishing show, and yeah, it we're just getting slightly working. better at it. Yeah, obviously our gear is getting a lot better, and we hope that you do enjoy this one. We do have a long day ahead of us, so again, as always, see you guys in a bit. This is Shasta. Hey, Shasta. Shasta. Meet Shasta. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>
Ai, și asta. Fun fact, Kate. Cows can swim at up to 40 kilometers an hour. <laughs> I've already said yes, but Rob won't let me because I'll scare off the fish. <laughs> Rob, if you annoy us, me, am I allowed to push her? <laughs> oh, so what, I'm not allowed to jump in, but she can push me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, just so everybody knows, Robin I've got one fish. It. I've got one fish for the day. Daffy's got a doll. <laughs> Kate's got a doll. Rob's on his 20th fish. And he's got two Rob's at the same got time. Two at the same time, right now. Hey, look, like, you, you got, like, I'm not helping you with that. <laughs> Ta da! Rob's magic spinner. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Little point. Goodbye, fishy number two. On Rob's thing, which would have been Rob's 23rd. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so about three. I've been trying different things. Okay, so I, I have the camera in my hand, so when you feel that you've got something, yeah. then I'll hit record. Right. Now. <laughs> He's completely gill hooked, yeah, and he's tiny. Pike. But like, <laughs> okay, right. I just want to explain the this. Pike I've ever seen yeah, I just want to explain this, right? I picked up the rod 
because I thought, oh look, I'll do a bit of fishing. And he was just on there. That being said, uh, Rob has caught a ridiculous amount of fish today. I've caught nothing. Jared's caught uh, a couple of perch and accidentally caught a perch. But <laughs> that being said, it's been a good day. Hang on, buddy, hang on. <laughs> I caught a perch and accidentally caught a perch. Oh, uh, a pike, sorry. <laughs> You'll never guess Wait. what. I finally Wait. caught a fish. <laughs> yes. It only took a succession of hours, but Daffy's got his fish. Which means I get to sleep soon. <laughs> All right, so we're on our way back to the car. Finally caught a fish. <laughs> I'm happy about that. I don't care what anybody says. I'm happy about that one, one perch. Wasn't a blank. Was it a blank? We That's the point. It. Save the we save the blank. So, yeah. Save me! <laughs> no, they come to Dublin we were fishing grey state grey stones. I was the one catching those fish. That's had a couple of fish coming late. I think you just take my mojo, man. I don't know. <sighs> That's what happens when you go fishing stuff, isn't it, Joe? He catches all the fish and you end up being the one sitting there being like. Not really. Or is it not the other way around? No. No. Well, I tend to catch quite a few. Mm -hmm. Just look compared to you today, you quack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rob was slaying it out there. Um, 20 odd quack. fish, I think. Yeah. We should have actually counted how many I caught. <laughs> we lost count. But it's starting to rain, uh, well, it's drizzling at the moment, so we're gonna head back um, that, in that direction. We're not going the right way anymore. No. <laughs> Jared's been a superhero doing all the rowing today. Well, for the majority of the day. Definitely been the ghost of a navigator. Yeah. But, oh well. It's been a good day. It's been a great day. Yeah. Very relaxing. Just happy I caught a fish. I got a pike, which is weird. Yeah. I only turned the camera on as I picked up the rod mm. because I had no idea I had a fish on. I had no idea. We trawled the couple of spinners off the back of the boat and uh, yeah, lo and behold, I picked it up randomly and there's a little pike on it. Yeah. Gill hooked. Unfortunately. Mm. But uh, what can you do? Yeah, um, we weren't able to fly the drone because. It was slightly windy and I wasn't going to risk flying the drone in the middle of this lake while there was a slight breeze. I don't know, there was just something about it. I don't want to be diving in to try and save the drone again. Jared did it the first time. I'm not going to do it this time, especially when this is slightly deeper. <laughs> it's about 20 foot deep in the deepest place we've been. Mm -hmm. That's too deep to go get a drone. Definitely. By the way, we'll catch back with you as soon as we get back into, into land. So, see you in a bit.
driving around in the morning was really early, first of all. But secondly, we didn't get that much sleep. We got maybe like 20 minutes. And you got like an hour. Yeah. I didn't even get any sleep yeah. previously. Yeah. So obviously that whole entire day was, was fun. But it just took, it took it out of us. And on our first trip up here, we we decided to go home on the day as well. So yeah, it was a honey sleep. Yeah. And uh, it was very, very dangerous. We got maybe 90% of the journey done. And when we got to the last leg, Daphne was falling asleep at the wheel. I was supposed to keep him awake and I was falling asleep. And it was just, uh, yeah. it wasn't even falling asleep. It's like you're blacking out. Yeah. Literally no control over it, and it was very scary. So we decided to stay up last night, and just sleep in the car, get some sleep, and get yeah. home in the morning. Grandma saved it, sorry. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we, that was stupid of us to do that. So if you guys are doing these long haul trips, don't be silly. Yeah, get if you're some tired, sleep. get some sleep. It's not worth it. Mm. And in all fairness, you're probably going to be saying to us, "Hey, look, you should have just pulled over and went to sleep." But at that stage, we were literally not even. 15 minutes left away from home and yeah. you know we could have stopped off had a bit of a rest stretch our legs i mean i was doing everything that i can do to try and stay my and keep myself awake all because, the windows were down yeah. we had loads of coffee we stopped for coffee three or four times on the yeah. journey back but it still was working yeah so again guys long haul trips if you're tired just stop yeah. Yeah. but that weekend was fun um that day of uh, going on a boat, catching some fish. That was great. I caught one perch. I mean, I'm no avid freshwater fisherman, but you know, I was happy with that one perch. Yeah. I ended up getting a couple of pikes, or not a couple of pikes, a couple of perch, and one yeah. little baby pike. Yeah. Which I do feel bad about because like, he, was, he was only a little bit bigger than the perch. Yeah, it was, it was a real baby. Yeah. Um, but I mean, on the spinners at the back of the boat. Yeah. Forgot about it for a while. And then when I just picked up the rod, when we eventually stopped and anchored off and stuff, I went to pick up the rod, cast out again because everybody else was spinning. I decided, uh, yeah, that'd be great. I started to do it too, and there was a pike on the rod. So, <laughs> little baby pike. You literally just went up and yeah. completely swallowed the, uh, the treble hook. Yeah. And so uh, it went crazy. straight into his gills. The minute I lifted him out of the water, blood was just running down on me. He wasn't going to survive anyway, so we just put him out of his misery. Yeah. Um, oh, hang on, folks. There's a toll bridge here. Yeah. So, obviously, um, it was a good trip. What is Rob? It? How much is the toll? Um, it is 260, I think. 260. Yeah, we're just going through a toll here. So, if you've never been through an Irish toll, um, you're see it now. oh, wait. Yeah, here. Yeah. Sorry guys, swerving around like a lunatic yeah. there. Just Watch perpetuating it. the old Asian stereotype of <laughs> terrible drivers. How's it going? Here we go. Uh, hey, how mate. much is it? It's 140, is it? 140. Okay, oh, right here. You've got the 140 One. there. 40. 140. Ooh. Sorry about this. <laughs> there you go, mate. Thank you very much. There you go. Cheers, thank you. Back. Thank you very much. Get up. You're probably going to be asking, why the f do we thank these guys when we're paying them a toll for just driving on the road? It's just Irish thing. politeness. Yeah, we just... say thank you for everything, we apologize for everything. If you bump into us, we'll say sorry. <laughs> uh, it's, just, yeah. it's just Irish politeness, really. You even thank the bus drivers over here. Yeah, if you don't thank job. the bus driver when you get off the bus, you're a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. I mean, uh, you thank the taxi driver, don't you? True. Yeah. You know, when you go away to other countries and you get on a bus and you thank the bus driver in another country, he just looks at you like, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. But anyway, um, yeah, so the trip was enjoyable. Um, the wind was a little bit, you know, it was picking up a bit. Um, it was still a light breeze, but I wasn't going to take any chances with the drone. Yeah, so. especially since uh, towards the end of the day it started raining as well. Mm. Um, it only lasted for five minutes, but it came down pretty heavy. Yeah. And I was like, right, we've got a lot of expensive <laughs> on the boat. Let's fucking pack it up. Yeah. And uh, by the time we got over to the dock, it had stopped raining and everything was fine again. But time 
time was up anyway, so yeah, it all kind of worked out. But mind you, um, if you want to go out fishing in that uh, in Cavan at that specific lake, the the prices are variant from 50 euro with a rowboat, uh, but it's 75 euro or 70 euro with, uh, with an outboard on it, which is yeah. pretty good. So really good price. Yeah, and they're really nice people as well. Um, and Pat, I think. So the reason why he's topless is because here in Ireland it is possible to get sunburned. Exhibit A. Very painful. Especially now, when you smack it with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> and exhibit B. <laughs> so yeah, people, make sure you wear sunscreen. Apparently it helps. It really does help because that's hilarious. <laughs> Screw you, buddy. <laughs>